Canadian military base in Djibouti might be realized thanks to the proposed defense pact with Japan. An agreement is expected to be signed to boost defense relations which includes sharing military assets and capabilities which includes the strategic and vital Djibouti naval base. Delhi has since long been keen to get a foothold in Djibouti. In view of the geostrategic importance of the country and China's bid to turn it into yet another pearl in its string of pearls policy to encircle India, the proposed pact between India and Japan is seen as another move to boost regional security cooperation in Indo-Pacific to counter Chinese aggression. The agreement will set a framework between the armies air forces and navies of India and Japan to provide supplies and services on the principle of reciprocity. US and South Korea call off another major military exercise, hoping to give diplomacy with Pyongyang a chance. The United States and South Korea are scrapping another major military exercise this year, an air exercise known as Vigilant Ace, a Pentagon official said citing a push for diplomatic progress with North Korea. It was the latest move aimed at trying to nudge North Korea, which despises such U.S.-South Korean exercises, into negotiating about giving up its nuclear weapons in a way that can be verified. Vigilant Ace is an annual exercise last held in December 2017. Australian Army plans to use killer drones to back up forces on the ground. A massive technological transformation is underway in the Australian Army with the introduction of hundreds of new drones. Soon every combat unit will be operating unmanned aerial systems. But now for the first time the army is publicly discussing whether the technology should, one day, be fitted with weapons. A lieutenant colonel said the Australian army was now closely examining methods for countering armed drones, including options for possibly acquiring its own lethal UAVs. Already Defence has announced plans for the Royal Australian Air Force to soon acquire longer-range armed drones which have been controversially used by the US military for decades. India acquires Black Hornet Nano, world's smallest spy cam unmanned aerial vehicle or UAV, for its elite Special Forces Unit National Security Guard. NSG. The UAV is small enough to fit in one hand of the operator and provides the ground troops with local situational awareness in the region of their deployment. Norwegian firm Prox Dynamics AS developed the UAV. Using GPS, the Black Hornet is capable of sending still images and full motion video through digital data link. The images are displayed on a small handheld terminal which is also used by the operator to control the UAV. Top speed of Black Hornet Nano is 18 km per hour. One of the best features of this UAV is that the data gathered by it is not stored on the system which gives an added advantage to the operator in case the drone is captured. NSG falls under the Ministry of Home Affairs, and was raised in 1984 following Operation Blue Star and the assassination of Indira Gandhi for combating terrorist activities and to protect the state from internal disturbances. The group uses many high-end weapons and gadgets sourced from foreign manufacturers. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.